All right, thanks so much for that, Erica. If, be, if you've been keeping a close eye on Monterey Bay FC this season, you've probably noticed a familiar face back to the lineup. Simon Dawkins making his highly anticipated return from injury. Our sports director, Maxwell Glenn, caught up with Simon and talked with him about the long road to recovery. Yeah, it was difficult for me because um, I've been struggling with this knee injury for many years in my career. Um, I knew there'd be time, you know, when it's going to slow down because there's no cartilage in my knee. Um, last season playing on turf quite quite often was probably uh, you know damaging to my knee um, so when I heard that I'm gonna have to rest a little bit um, I didn't realize it was gonna be for two three months but uh, yeah it was, just, it was just difficult to take so I tried to get myself um, back again my legs strong um, and just yeah just whatever I can do for the team without being on the field just whatever the information they need um, off the field. That's what I try to do in that time. Um, and thankfully now I'm, I'm back playing. So it's just about managing it for me and, and seeing where I go from there. And how do you stay positive just hearing that news and knowing there's a long track ahead of you to get back? Uh, once you hear bad news, they're going to be out for a while. You can't help the team. It's very difficult. Um, but you know, I, I've, I've done it before many times. I sort of make sure my mind's right mentally and do what I need to do with the, with the, the medical team and just yeah, just get back and, and take it slow and, and, and do what's best for my knee so I can, you know, play most of the season and be a part of it. LAFC, you come into the match late, your presence is felt immediately when you hit the pitch. You go score one in regulation, one of the biggest goals in Monterey Bay history, <laughs> and then you score another in PKs. Just walk me through that experience. I mean, what was it like just being out there? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the manager did say he was going to give me, you know, maybe five, ten minutes. Uh, it was my first game back, so just to see how the knee feels. Um, and at that point, um, I thought just come on the field and, and do what I can just to help the team. And you know, I had some, a few good touches before I scored that goal. Um, and then obviously taking it into to extra time, which is what wasn't the plan in terms of me, my knee, because <laughs> I got to play what 30 or eight minutes or something like that. Um, so yeah, it, it was good obviously uh, to get that. We should have won the game. Um, and then obviously in penalty kicks, it's just unfortunate. Um, but. You know, we will go again, we'll bounce back um, as a team. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things. But on a personal note, it was great to, to come back in that game. And to come out firing on all cylinders like that, uh, just how do you carry that momentum moving forward? I, I think I've been eager to get on the field for the last few months. And uh, I, I, this wasn't the plan for me. I, I hope to start the season and, and progress with the, with the team. So for me to come off, off the bench and, and have a few good touches, score a goal, gave me you know, a boost of confidence in terms of just coming back. I may not play a lot, but um, whatever I can do, uh, I just want to do the most I can for the team and, and, and do my best. So when I can impact it like that, uh, that's fantastic. And I hope that the guys appreciate I can't play maybe you know, every week, 90 minutes like I used to, but uh, to be a part of it and just give what I can is, is great. Dawkins and the Chris Kim Kelp will be back in action this week with two matches. The first against FC Tulsa on Wednesday, the second against Loudoun United FC.